Hey captains, how you doing today? Uh, I'm gonna shoot you out a little video uh, for the weekend services. Uh, I've just got just a few things to talk about. Uh, probably the main thing is just you guys uh, made this so easy for me. Uh, you guys are doing just a great job. Appreciate it so much, uh, everything you do. Uh, let's have a our first quarterly captains meeting of 2023. I almost said 2013, wow. Uh, 2023 let's let's shoot for uh april the second well it's going to be a sunday and we'll do that again right after the 11 15 service that'll give us uh kind of a head start on the easter services that are at the end of that week uh, with one service being on friday two on saturday three on sunday uh, i put that in the newsletter i believe you guys should have got that yesterday on the times but uh, we'll do it just like what we did for Christmas. Uh, have you guys kind of figure out who's going to cover what, uh, which services, and we'll go from there. And hopefully by that time I have these preference uh, sheets uh, for you guys. So when you have new guest service people that you don't normally work with, you can look the sheet over and see uh, where they normally work at. So uh, I think that'll be good. Uh, next. Put on your calendar is going to be the June 10th is the wall the wow conference uh, it's going to be a kind of a training vision casting type morning It'll be a Saturday morning uh, I'm probably I'm probably not going to ask you guys to do any of that training I think I'm going to try to use uh, guest service volunteers uh, that way peers or training peers uh, I might tap a couple of you if I really just don't have any good people that I mean not good people or they're all great But if I really don't feel comfortable in a couple of those positions I may tap a couple of you guys, but I'm trying to keep you guys out of it. So just have a, a kind of a peer training of peer deal there uh, Other than that, uh, I kept a little bit of the notes in here from when I sent this out in I believe January uh, Just kind of give you an idea of the workflow that we do when we onboard new people and we keep getting new people pretty regularly so that's good uh, I, know I like our numbers I think we're fine a uh, little bit shaky this week for the first time at the 545 service uh, Julian Bryan if you look at that you'll see that right now I think there's only 17 signed up yeah 17 signed up so I did just send out the uh, email reminder and we did actually pick up uh, just about every one of the services picked up two more people. So I think as the day goes on, we'll probably pick up a few more there. Uh, I'm having to do a lot of this on my own right now. Uh, Nancy's just not going to be available for a little bit. So just continue to keep her in your prayers. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll just keep marching on. Uh, I think that's about all I really have to cover with you guys. But don't hesitate to call or email if you guys have any questions. We did have something come up over the weekend that a couple of you experienced, and that was a fire alarm going off. Uh, and then I had a couple of guest service people ask, what, what do we do during that? And here's what I got from Billy and Carrie. Uh, if it's a false alarm, there will be a second announcement for coming from Carrie that do not evacuate the building. If we actually are evacuating, I would expect our guest service people to hold the doors open for our guests and direct them to the exits. That's about it. Uh, then they need to proceed out just like everybody else and staff and security. We will go through the building making sure everybody's out after that. So uh, I don't want our people turned into firemen. I don't want them grabbing a fire extinguisher. That'll be security doing that or staff, but uh, I do expect them to hold the doors open and, and, and uh, tell the guests where the exits are. So other than that, uh, I also put in this, it's, it's kind of scary right now. Uh, everything's going so well and just kind of, you know how you do, you just kind of wait for the ball to drop. But right now everything's going so well that uh, I hope it just continues. And uh, God's been good to us and blessed us in more ways than we know. And, and I've been doubly blessed with the new captains that I got to inherit. Uh, you guys do a fantastic job. So uh, other than that, got any questions, comments, email, call me, text me, however you want to send up smoke signals, uh, however you want to do it. All right. Hey, see you guys on the weekend.